Okay, now onto the theory part of the lesson. Um, I know it's not programming, but please don't turn off because it's quite important. If you really want to get into 3D graphics, uh, you've got to make this common knowledge, I suppose, for yourself anyway. Um, what what you see in front of you is um, four rectangles, and each rectangle represents something called a coordinate space. And in 3D graphics, there's loads of these coordinate spaces, but what I would say the four main ones are the modeling space, the world space, the view space, and the screen space. Um, and what a coordinate space is, is a representation of um, the positions of our vertices. Uh, yeah, a representation of the positions of our vertices. And we can have many different representations of the positions, um, including these four. Now, what I mean by representation of the positions of the vertices is if we say we have just a general vertex x, y, z, say, then the numbers that are actually assigned to x and assigned to y and assigned to z will vary depending on which space you're working with. Now it'll be the same vertex but it'll have different, you know, x, y and z will have different values depending on which space you're with. So a simple example might be um, if we're in modeling space a vertex might have coordinates 1, 2, 3 for x, y and z. But if we cast that same vertex to world space it might have coordinates 100, 200, 300 and then it'll have different coordinates to in view space and screen space. Um, and hopefully as I explain a bit more it'll, it'll get a little more clearer. I mean it's quite a weird notion if, you've, if it's the first time you've heard of it. But the reason why we want to have all these spaces and all these different number values for our vertices is because it allows, uh, it does make things easier, although it sounds a bit not like that now, but and it also allows maximum flexibility when we're writing our scenes. Um, so I'll try and explain what these spaces are individually. If we start off with modeling space, this is the coordinate system that is local to the current model or shape that we're going to draw. And by local, I mean that the center of the shape will be the origin of the coordinate space. So the center of the shape will be point zero zero zero. And then, say we're going to draw a triangle, we can de declare, well, we can represent the, the three vertices of our triangle relative to the center of it, so relative to point zero zero zero. So the vertex, say this is point zero 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 in the center of the screen, the vertex directly above might be point zero one zero, because it's one up in the y direction, and the point down here to the right might be zero uh, might be one zero zero sorry and the point here might be minus one zero zero and what we can say is this triangle it's got its own modeling space and every single shape that you that you declare in a scene will have its own modeling space and basically that just means it means it, it's a lot easier for um, us to draw our shapes because we can just pretend that they're the only thing that we care about at the moment and just draw that shape in its own like, its own space with its own coordinates relative to the center of the shape. The next space is, uh, is the world space and you can think about this as is, is the main world and then we're going to position all of our shapes in this world and the, the main reason we have this is because it controls scaling, rotation, and um, uh, trans uh, translation. That's the one. It controls scaling, rotation, and translation. So, 
you can think about this as say we in our modeling space we declare a triangle with 0 1 0 1 0 0 minus 1 0 0 and then say we declare um, another triangle with the same coordinates in modeling space we can cast them both into world space so we'll have two shapes and the world space is a coordinate space that they both share in common but they may even though they had the same coordinates in modeling space they're allowed to have different coordinates in world space so in modeling space both triangles have this vertex at 0 1 0 but in world space we're going to declare one triangle say to be a hundred times bigger than the other so in world space the big triangle will have this coordinate uh, 0 1 hundred, 0 and the, the smaller triangle may if we say it, it's going to be the same size will have the coordinate 0 1 0 or something like that so when we pass shapes from modeling space to world space we're allowed to translate them rotate them and scale them in the same way that I've just said then. View space it concerns the camera uh, and this is the position that we're going to put our camera in basically so if you can think about it, it's called view space because it's going to be where we view the scene from so all the shapes in world space that have their own modeling space uh, coordinates in modeling space uh, you can think about the view spaces their positions relative to where the camera is positioned the screen space is what we were actually working with in lesson number two when we drew the triangle and that's just pixel space so uh, for say this window was 200 pixels by 200 pixels in screen space point 100 100 would be the center of the screen so you can think about view space we're working in 3d we're going to position our camera in 3d space and then we're going to pass everything uh, to screen space and it's going to go from 3d to 2d because we're working with 3d coordinates there and then we're going to go into pixel positions there and this is often called projecting we're going to project from 3D to 2D um, and the kind of idea is is that in our code we will draw all of our shapes separately in their own modeling spaces and then we will pass them through the spaces towards the screen and this is called the pipeline Oh, this is some of the pipeline so we'll go from modeling space to world space view space and finally to screen space where it can actually be sent to render as pixels on the screen um, and how we pass vertices and shapes from space to space is like this Ta -da. <laughs> pretty uh, crappy diagrams I only made them on paint but I hope they get the point across <laughs> to get from space to space we take each vertex and transform it over a matrix. Uh, there's loads of you know there's loads of these types of matrices about in 3D graphics, but uh, they're generally uh, the three that are Im most important um, uh, are called the world matrix, the view matrix, and the projection matrix. And you can think about this is the rite of passage from space to space. So uh, a, a vertex in modeling space we'll go through and you know this is just the same as like a mathematical matrix the vertex will go through a matrix we'll get some new coordinates from the matrix and then lo and behold it will be in world space and then go through the view matrix and then go through the projection matrix and finally get to the screen um, and you know these things are quite mathematical uh, I'm not really going to go into the maths because Direct 3D does it for us. You know, it's a lot simpler than it sounds here. Um, but you know, you should really learn a little bit about the maths because if you wanted to do this for more than a hobby, I expect that employers will uh, really want you to know about the details of these things.